Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Place XCOM 2. Well, last time we made a little bit of a mistake <laughs> losing our sniper, and, like not even in a firefight, just like by being stupid and not knowing how to do math. Um, actually, what I would like to do here is let's customize our guys a little bit so we can differentiate him from each other basically because everyone wears the same kind of dark garb here. Well, let's see. It's gone to props. The Advent Children DLC adds a little bit of a like weird punk style, like, and also like sleaze and like you can just go shirtless Rambo style. Okay, this guy's our specialist. So what should you have a specialist? Maybe this one looks a little bit special. Hmm, let's go for two here. Oh yeah, and he, you see like the Advent Children thing also adds arm customization specifically. Bare forearm knuckle does the... Just like how can I turn you? Like this. Leather straps, yeah it's a little bit weird. Ammo gauntlet. Don't know how I can... Oh yeah, like this is like the normal arms thing. Just give you arm zero. Looks more specialist like. A ball cap, do we have something like ball cap and mic or something like that? Let's give the specialist this one looks a little bit like hacky thing and he has a headset. Main armor color. Okay, this is what I was thinking. Now, what do we make the hacker? We just make him green, maybe? Like a bright Shrek green? Like, let's make him like this. Looks a little bit like a Power Ranger. It's quite fitting, I think. Secondary armor color. Okay, let's not make it. <laughs> let's not make it. This looks like System Blue. Um, let's just give you something maybe a little bit subtle, like the 50 here. I like how he's from. This is South Africa, right? Like, it's embarrassing when you've been working in East Africa before and you don't know the flags, but this is South Africa, right? And he has like Australian English, that's really good. You can also give him a weapon upgrade, apparently. Advanced scope. Increase aim by 10%. Well, not, it's maybe not the best on a specialist. Ideally, he's not shooting that much. Marilyn. She's our grenadier. Let's customize her a little bit too. For the torso. This, like the advent children stuff, you didn't see it on the guy, but. The guys also have midriffs like that, so it's not only the women who are like going in full midriff there. Grenadier, what do we give to you? And this looks grenadier like. And arms wise. Maybe just give you like these wraps or something. It looks a little bit metal. Legs, torso, helmet. Just give you something maybe a little bit crazy. This aviator stage looks so stupid. Muzzle, maybe? Or is there something that looks more like a gas mask? Spider mask, Jesus. <laughs> it looks terrifying. Space mask. So maybe just give her this. 
then actually you can also give them like upper face props you can give them like sunglasses <laughs> she's like wearing aviators and goggles that's hilarious actually face paint we could also give her blood splatter or something like that don't really know if we want to you can't really see it that well anyway, but I just want to show it off. Also, if you guys want me to make one of you guys one of my soldiers, then you can tell me, oh, give me like sick face tattoo, make it completely red or something like that. Okay, her armor color. Let's make it maybe reddish. Even the bright red isn't that bright. Just like so I know it's our explosion person secondary armor color well, let's give it a nice white ears that's a good aesthetic I think looks a little bit more like a medic now but what can you do okay ranger man William you're you're a really good guy actually Really proved himself in the last mission until I screwed up. Give him like a lower face prop to show that off. I don't really have too much. They got like some bandanas. This, this weird samurai mask and like the mutant mask here. Give him like this, make him like a totally wild. <laughs> totally wild guy. I like that actually. Upper face prop. This is almost like my glasses, actually. Let's just give him like these. <laughs> that's, that's great. This is what I imagine a ranger looks like. Imagine like, oh, I'm finally saved. And then this guy comes to save you like, please, leave me alone. Anything we can really wear with... I don't actually even have a gas mask, but it doesn't look that good actually just give him give him a weird top hat <laughs> it's crazy muzzle I wish it would highlight the options that like don't erase or other things Let's do it like that, man. He's like, oh no, I dropped my sunglasses and then he <laughs> pulled on his goggles. I really like that. Um, the arms, he's on arms three. The arms five, the little bit of an elbow here. Do you also give you face pain? I mean, it seems appropriate for Ranger. It's weird to give you Maori face paint when you're from Australia, I don't know. But there's like four different Maori face paints. So. Kabuki paint. I don't think it's like Midnight Warrior maybe. Make it a little bit dark. Main armor color. Um, yeah, green is... Green actually we already gave to somebody. I make you like orange man look at that mask that looks crazy actually I like that one I think I never customized somebody to have an orange main armor color it's not really one of the colors I think of when I think of military armor or military fatigues in general yeah, let's just make it orange and black looks good <laughs> that's that's really good actually. I like that. Carrie Armstrong. She looks like the most normal person. Helmet and hat. You're also a ranger, huh? And let's also give you something that's a little bit crazy. We want to strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. Um
Just give you the skull mask. Let's go. This this is already great. Let's give you the arms one. Um, torso wise. Oh no! I accidentally like when you accidentally mouse over these, they default to the weird arm options. Give you the torso too, and now we have to go to arms again. And then you will. Your main armor color is. I like that the. That they have a tintable option. There was like one where the skull is just white, and one where you can change the color of the skull. Like a little bit Halloween with these bright colors. Can give you a little. A little blue maybe? Looks cool actually. Okay, and the others are just rookies, so we're going to keep them like that. Okay then, let's see. That was by accident. I always want to click escape to go to the world map. But actually, when you're on the world map, escape brings you to the Avenger. Oh yeah, we're scanning that locator beacon. Or we were before. And these are just some rookies. I think we still have enough soldiers right now. We don't really need to spend our time on them. Oh, there we go. This was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Yep. This also explains how they create the psionic zombies you've seen before, just like controlling the dead bodies there, I think. It just like came to my mind actually. Okay, we can construct a proving ground facility. Com then we have to complete the Skulljack project in the proving ground and use the Skulljack on an advent officer. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Yep, that's the, the proving ground. The captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the advent network. Okay, what are we going to do first? Sectoid or advent trooper autopsy? Let's just go for the trooper. The surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. I 
Yep. Yeah, as you saw before, these advent soldiers really are not human anymore, as you can see, like, by the kind of disfigured faces. Yeah, so they, they were using the commander, or us, against the human population, against the rebels. Okay, new item available, battle scanner. The battle scanner provides extra vision on the battlefield, you can like throw it like a grenade and then it can look, I think you can throw it pretty far actually and you might even be able to launch it from the grenade launcher and it scans like its vicinity and then you can discover enemies without seeing them for a few turns that like walk into the radius. Okay, what else you got there? Hybrid materials, resistance, communication, just go for the sectoid autopsy. I've never witnessed to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Yeah, previous sectoids were, or the sectoids of the previous game were way less threatening. They were just like little, like gray man aliens. Oh, alien debris cleared. Okay, so much happening right now. This is empty. This is empty. Can pop Doctor Mbeki in here? It's going to be a longer episode probably. There's a lot going on. But I want you guys to see the customization at least once, so you have an idea. If I customize anyone else, it will probably be off camera to save time a little bit. You and I both know we only had one other Sky Ranger, Commander. It's worse for wear, but this heap used to be Big Sky's pride and joy. And someone's weapons of the hunt. Work. It may be possible to triangulate exactly where they took off from, but it'll take some time, Commander. I don't know what he was saying there. Like any design I have previously encountered before. I could attempt further analysis, but the likelihood of us... Okay, this is like, these are like unique weapons from the Alien Hunter DLC. The ball cast is like, it's really like a one-shot crossbow kind of deal. Shadow Keeper is just like a pistol. Hunter's Axe is like the sword or the machete the ranger uses. Frostbomb is like a grenade. But it freezes the enemy for a few turns, it's really good actually. Okay. Um, William... So, have this just been added to our inventory like that? Oh yeah. So we can give him the axe. The axe is also a little bit stronger than the standard machete. Has the same critical chance. And he has two actually, so he can use one for range attacks and he can throw the other one. It's like, it's like really crazy, you will see. And by really crazy, I mean it's really good actually. At least I remember it being really good. Frost bomb, just give it to the grenadier. The liquefied gases inside should lead to an instantaneous freeze effect. And we can we can replace the assault rifle with the ball caster thing. With the ball casters, you see clip size there. Like the damage is on the assault rifle is three to five. On this thing, it's six to eight. But the clip size is only one. It, and it can also stun the enemy. They so provide a single shot action, but this thing hits hard. ideally, Even an edge he doesn't shoot that top. much anyway. So we can just give it here. And I don't think, yeah, like. This primary weapon, you can't put scopes or anything on it. So yeah, let's just try to show them off. I would like to give somebody the pistol, but we kind of accidentally got rid of our sniper, so it's a little bit terrible. I'm kind of make contact to this region. New Mexico, we get 175 from here. We can scan for the rookies or we can gain some intel, maybe we'll just try gaining some intel. We 
we can't make contact with them yet, right? Okay, let's just sure scan until something happens. Yep. You see sectoid autopsy. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years. Now we can develop mind shields, which kind of protects our own units from psionic attacks. And we can research psionics themselves. But it takes a it takes still takes like 17 days, and we actually need five Illyrium crystals for that, which we don't have currently. Let's go for hybrid materials. Yeah, it only takes two days, so let's just do the fastest thing first. Make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Advanced Warfare Center now operational. Oh cool, okay. There we go. <laughs> we haven't even started a mission yet, it's already 20 minutes in, that's a long episode. I hope you're strapped in, guys. We could clear, we could start clearing another one, or we could put the other engineer in here too. So instead of 17 days, this now takes 9 days. Must have been on the verge between 17 and 18 there. Commander, we've got nothing on the local comms. Oh, Advanced there we go. Quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Yep, and as you can see, they're just directly attacking the civilian settlements, like the little rebel settlements. And we have to swoop in to save as many people as possible. It's like, it's not really a time-sensitive mission in that sense, but it's like, like they, they kill people in every turn, basically. Okay, let's just take a rookie here. Um, grenade is here. We don't really have anything else. At least I don't think we got anything else we can give you. Yeah, it's just this grenade here. Yeah, then just dive right in with our <laughs> newly customized squad. I already love these guys. Please, please don't die. Please, myself, don't make any mistakes. <laughs> uh. And when you're wondering what the hell was that you saw at the end there, like the one guy that was like twisting and then there was like this big alien. It's like a little bit like a mimic guy. They call them the faceless and it's they're going like undercover as civilians. But when you approach them it's like, oh surprise I'm an enemy. Okay here, objective neutralize all enemy forces and rescue at least six civilians. Missions like that also were in the first XCOM actually, but there it was more like the city was getting straight up attacked by 
aliens and here it's like it's advent attacking because advent is not really alien anymore it's just like alien and human genes mish like like somehow mixed together In order for this episode to not be terribly long, I'm maybe going to cut this into half or something. Do we have concealment? Oh no, okay. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay, no concealed position. Understood. Moving out. Okay, you see these kind of rings here? We have to get into those and then uh, the civilian counts as rescued and they will actively like run away. Okay. Emma Vandenberg. Can you do me a favor and rescue the first civilian? Oh, I hear some music. Did we discover something? Oh, yep, there's something. Yeah, and when they run into these rings, then the civilian will back away from them. Okay, Marilyn, you're a little bit of a weird position now. Cover here is not excellent, actually. Like, where are we going to go for cover? Okay, Ranger ideally gets in there too. But not too in there. Because I don't want them to be able to run up and just outflank us immediately. Got a 49 on this guy. You with your bolt cast is actually also very good. Like, hey, this is an officer, so if I come in here, I could be safe. <laughs> could be. And maybe I'll just take the 49 from Marilyn here. Come on, you can do this. You have a stock too. Yeah, she did it. Okay. Got him. Got him. Not a terrible start. So far. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Maybe just start shooting them here. Yeah, you can see they're actively like pursuing all the civilians and they will often prioritize them over us actually so let's see what they do oh he actually shoots Marilyn here no for free okay it's not too terrible but i'm also not very stoked still got 4 hp here i'm easy with the 51 can actually move you up a little bit farther. It's a 59 shot now. Could you just slash this guy? You can totally get in there. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Try the axe. Goodbye. He's a monster. <laughs> Nailed him. He's like, there's only destruction wherever he goes. Okay, let's go here. This should count as inside the circle, maybe. Go on, get out of here. Yep, yeah, get out of here. Marilyn, are we gonna put you? Maybe dash you up a little bit in the full cover. I are going to put her here. I don't want her to be in the front so much now that she's been damaged anyway. Let's put her on overwatch in case anything wanders into our way. There's some people there. Do we see anyone else? No, not really. Okay then, Kamisi, we're going to put you somewhere. Here maybe? You also see no one, and then just put you into overwatch for good measure. 
In case something creeps out of there. That Sectoid is just going wild with his plasma pistol or whatever he's using. Yeah, we can actually start approaching here. Should I run that far up? And we could save this person right now. Let's just do it, it's our rookie. Oh no, there... <laughs> okay. Let's just do it. Now you see what I mean. They're kind of like infiltrators. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. Yep. I'm guessing this is it. Remarkable species. <laughs> that is it if indeed. We had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't even think about bringing this monster home. Just try knocking it in the head here. A okay, nice seven. Three left. We should be able to do this easily now. Heading to that location. Okay, can you hit that? Eighty-three. Yeah, they don't really have cover, so they're not hard to hit, but they can hit you very hard. They have very long arms, so they can actually hit you with their arms from a distance okay. yeah let's see the sector was somewhere around here right let's go into overwatch again Come get some. Oh my. yep it's not going too good right now It must also be something here or something. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Yep, that's true. At least don't shoot more people though. The Just move fire. Marilyn in here. Can you see the sectoid from here? We got Advent here? Yep. No, <laughs> don't run away, man. Like, run towards us. Okay, William's a little bit back here. Don't like that too much. On the move. So, still a 72, though. We could even go in and slash him as an option. That's not bad. Kamisi, you need to reload. Emma can actually put you here, but that's a run. Hmm. Can put her here for now. You can also only hit that guy, huh? I mean, let's just do it. Maybe she can get a promotion or something. Okay, she nailed him. No longer a threat. Good shots, I think. Oh yeah, she has a promotion, I think. Yep, promotion earned. Sometimes pops up a little bit late. William. I mean, you won't have the best chance with your Overwatch, really, but it's still an Overwatch. 34. I think maybe I will just go for a Frost Bomb, actually. It's... Because this will totally incapacitate him. Out. Then we can still move in and decide what we do next turn. You see he's frozen now. Okay, Kamisi. Um, move you into the full cover here and then I will just reload that bolt caster. Okay, guy's still frozen. Anyone else shooting? I hear something. I, I can't see anything. Oh, there's still some guys back here. 
Oh, he missed. <laughs> Please do this more often. This is like buying us time. Okay, William, can you reach him with a slash? No, you totally can. That's great. Can you slash into cover though? Can't see what's covered. This should be cover, right? Oh yeah, it's totally cover. Okay, let's rip him apart. Goodbye. Not didn't even need any ammo to kill this one. Okay, Marilyn. Nothing on that side. Emma, just put you here, maybe. Also can't see anything. We can put Kamisi in there somewhere, I think. It's a little bit of a weird position. There's also no cover inside, right? Third civilian. Yeah, up there you can see we rescued three out of six required. Seven are still alive. Three are already dead. Let me just turn this one again. Maybe I put Emma here. Moving to designated coordinates. Marilyn is missing one in her magazine there. Let's reload this. I have a feeling she will be shooting soon. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to call it and say thank you very much for watching. We'll pick off right here next time when we'll smoke the rest of these guys out. And for now, I'll say bye-bye.